What an exciting time to be in this industry. We are the iHeartRadio Podcast Network, and we are on a hot streak with titles like Fake Doctors, Real Friends, The Piketon Massacre, The Missionary, Noble Blood, Forgotten, Women of Juarez, Red Table Talk, and on and on, rolling out a streak of strong shows and delivering new audiences to brands like you iHeartRadio sits on three pillars, really. We are a production powerhouse across the country with three huge podcast studios in New York, Atlanta, and LA, but really audiophiles and podcast producers in every single broadcast radio station where iHeartRadio has a presence in over 150 markets across the United States. Dozens, hundreds of broadcast radio teams testing and experimenting in this new exciting medium. These teams are on a hot streak. The creativity coming out of all of our podcast shops is like nothing I've seen before. Number two, we are a marketing engine like nothing else, making sure that every single show we launch is widely distributed to get the biggest audience that it could possibly get. We have over 500 podcast titles and 225 million downloads a month and they reap the benefit of almost 900 broadcast radio stations to shout very loudly about new launches that we roll out and new creators that we introduce to the medium so that we can deliver those audiences at scale to our brand partners like you. And the third pillar is that sales piece. Those partnerships that we forge with sponsors and brands like you to build shows from scratch or integrate your messaging through the storytelling of our hosts in the medium, the best in the business. We deeply believe that podcasting is the single best ad product in all of media, period. And so we are deeply grateful to be in partnership with you around that opportunity. In 2020, though, the question really becomes when you have the energy and drive of a super creative team, when you have the momentum of the biggest podcast network in the United States, how do you use that momentum? For us, the number one priority is diversity in our medium. We have an opportunity now to set the stage right for the next chapter and the next generation and beyond of the podcasting industry. And there's nothing more important to us. So today we want to announce a very important new partnership. Let's take a look. Allow me to introduce to you the all new, brand new Black Effect Podcast Network that I have built with iHeartRadio. Well, it's important to me that we created the Black Effect Podcast Network because blackness has a positive, immediate impact on everything. Blackness controls the cool. Blackness controls the culture. We impact and affect everything. That's why it's called, duh, the Black Effect. You should add blackness to whatever you're doing, but if you don't, just empower us by running ads on our network because we are going to have the ears of the whole planet, okay? Every podcast on The Black Effect reflects my interests. So we have everything from comedy to faith to mental health and mindfulness, politics, social justice. Not just content that will entertain you, but content that will educate you and inspire you, I promise. All right? We got everybody from comedian, actress, Jess Hilarious to singer, actress, mental health advocate, Michelle Williams. Yes, from Destiny's Child. We have every Everybody from NBA player Dwight Howard to attorney TV host Ebony K. Williams. But don't listen to me because I would definitely oversell it. Let's listen to what some of these stars have to say about their respective shows on the Black Effect Podcast Network. Hey, everybody. I am so excited to be launching my brand new podcast, Holding Court with Ebony K. Williams. That's me on the Black Effect Podcast Network with iHeartMedia and Charlemagne the God. Hello, this is comedian Flame Monroe, and I am coming to you with over the moon excitement about becoming a part of the iHeart family under the Black Effect Network. Myself, Flame Monroe, along with my partner Nick Smith, are coming to you to bring you a laugh and learn podcast that will be over the moon with excitement. My name is Michelle Williams, and I'm going to talk all things mental health, all things healing, all things regarding the heart because I refuse to believe that we have to walk around this world in a state of dysfunction. This is Teslin Figaro, the host of Straight Shot No Chaser podcast. The truth is hard to swallow, but if you consume it enough, eventually it'll go down a lot smoother. It's an acquired taste, but everybody is welcome. Join me on the Black Effect Podcast Network as I discuss politics, social justice, black community concerns, and hip hop. I can't wait to bring this network to life and continue to push the culture of podcasting forward. And I pray that you come along for the ride. It's the Black Effect Podcast Network. Black everything, everything 
being black. It means so much to us to be able to partner with creators like Charlemagne as the executive producer across this slate of new shows, doubling down on the diversity in podcasting as we level up this medium and industry for the next chapter. We at iHeartRadio have built-in partnerships across our broadcast radio stars. Another worth noting is Enrique Santos, the biggest Latino broadcast radio star in the United States, is similarly launching a slate of original podcasts within the iHeartRadio network, dedicated to Latinx creators, audiences, so that brands can speak to that demographic better in our medium, all bolstered by the Revolver network of shows that we've partnered with to drive their growth faster. Partnerships, to a certain extent, are what we're all about. Will Ferrell was one of the biggest first that we announced a year ago here at IAB. We started our partnership with Will Ferrell around a great show called The Ron Burgundy Podcast, still probably my favorite podcast. But Will Ferrell, like a lot of us, became infatuated with podcasting, this medium that offers such creative freedom and audiences at scale and fast production. What a great way to test new IP, new comedic concepts in front of audiences at scale. We're now finally rolling out some of the titles from Will Ferrell's venture, Big Money Players Network. These are some of the funniest shows we've ever heard. We have to pinch ourselves to realize that this is actually a day job. But let's take a look at some of my favorites. A new show called True Romance from Carolina and Devin. Hi, I'm Carolina Barlow. And I'm Devin Leary. And we're so excited to talk to you about our show, True Romance. We started this podcast as a way to connect with men and women disillusioned by love and dating those who are looking to laugh at the shenanigans of personal and famous love stories, as well as those looking for a bright light at the end of an app-filled tunnel. True Romance has been especially appreciated during a period when a lot of single people aren't able to go any further than a Zoom date, unless you live in Florida, in which case, there is a highly contagious global pandemic, please leave the beach. You have to go. We'll also dine on endless personal stories like the time I flew to Rome for a booty call and fell in love with the guy's roommate. Or the time I accidentally went on a date with a magician. A moment of silence. And we've already had countless women reach out to us saying the show has comforted them through a broken heart as they've laughed at our mistakes. And it sounds like a brag, but that's just what happened, okay? And we love iHeart because they distribute our episodes everywhere on every app to the biggest audience possible meeting listeners wherever they are. And the support from the team at iHeart has been amazing. They have always believed in us and our show. They even let us say butt stuff in a radio ad and they had to listen to Carolina's story about pissing her boyfriend's bed on Valentine's Day over five times. We also have had the most amazing boss, Will Farrell head of the Big Money Players Network. Will has been an avid supporter and has really championed our show from the start, from day one. Yeah, he actually wanted to say a few words. Can we play a clip? Oh yeah, let's play the clip. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can barely listen to this fucking show. These two women are out of their minds and I want my name taken off of it immediately. And that's all I have to say. Good day. Amazing. Thank you, Will. He is the absolute best. Thank you. He is the nicest man in Hollywood. The best. On that note, thank you for taking the time to check us out. See you at the beach. While there's a creative explosion in podcasting right now, which we think makes this the most exciting medium in the world to be a part of these days, it's also what we think is the single best ad product in all of media iHeartRadio offers a slate of ad products that in their entirety, we're the only network to bring together and offer to you as a one-stop shop. Every single ad that we deliver is dynamically inserted. All of our ads, if you want, are host-read. Our storytellers will tell your story to their super fans. We also offer audience targeting and geo-targeting across our entire 225 million download a month ecosystem. We have shot Nielsen cohorts and data through every single single download so that you as a brand can reach the audiences that matter most to you. We can couple your ad campaign with the mass reach and frequency scale of broadcast radio itself. And finally, one of the most exciting new expertises that we're building is branded content. 
another word for building great shows from scratch in partnership with you and your brand. Some of the best shows we've rolled out in the past 12 months are branded content series. We launched a show with T-Mobile called This Time Tomorrow, one of the best tech shows in the world. Right now, a lot of the environments we work in, they don't even have any cellular at all. Forget about 4G or even 3G or even 1X, like they have nothing. We launched a show with Under Armour called The Only Way Is Through, all about how professional athletes chase perfectionism in their job. In reality, it's basically the same thing. Like what I'm trying to do on land is the same thing that I was trying to do in the pool, right? It's a goal. So now I'm just trying to learn how to do it on land. Or the multi-year partnership we have going now with one of our best supporters, IBM. IBM came to us with their brilliant idea of smart talks leveling up how we talk about science and technology. They partnered with some of our core shows to tell these stories better in long form to audiences that really cared. So in each episode of Smart Talks here on the Stuff to Blow Your Mind feed, Robert and I are gonna sit down for virtual chats with people using technologies developed by IBM to deal with the unique challenges the world is facing today. Huge thanks to them for allowing us to tell these stories through the right creators in the right context with the right message. Podcasting is so exciting because it feels new every day, new genres, new creators, new content types, but we don't forget where we came from as a medium either. True crime is one such genre, one of the bedrock ways to tell the story in podcasting. We're here today with one of our partners in true crime, Tenderfoot TV. We recently announced a new nine show slate with them. Let's see what's in store. Payne, Donald, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Let's get right into it. You both come from a visual background. How do you tell stories in a purely audio medium? How do you trigger that theater of the mind? First, it was it was a difficult leap for me because I was so used to using visuals to make you feel something, right? And and storytelling in general. But I think that once I got the hang of making a podcast, I realized how much power you actually have without the visual. The listener becomes kind of immersed in this in their own little world in your podcast and has to use their imagination for a lot of it. And so once you kind of know how to use it to your advantage, you can really paint these amazing stories in just audio form. And what does it mean to work with iHeartRadio? Why us? You guys just get it. And you guys, um, iHeart's down to take risks. And I think we are too. And um, I think it's just a, a great unification of creative minds. There's two, two major regions for, for me. One is the team. And I think regardless of the, the company, the, the team within the company is really what, what matters. And there's just a great team at iHeart that are multi-talented, you know, producers, editors, writers, hosts, that understand the business, that understand marketing, that understand on the larger level, the brand, you know, who wouldn't want to be in business with, you know, the largest, uh, you know, podcast company in the world, radio broadcast company in the world, right? So the, the, the marketing reach is going to be extremely important as we, expand out on what podcasting can be and make it uh, you know, more household than it already is. Of all the stuff you just mentioned, what's the one show that's most exciting to you and why? So in January, we're releasing uh, the MLK tapes and saying from the same co-creator, uh, co-created the RFK tapes, uh, successful podcast that came out uh, about a year ago. Um, it's, uh, it's a very similar journey where we're finding a ton of archival, ton of tapes that have never been heard before and we're really rethinking kind of what the norms are and how we're supposed to think about certain um, certain historical events and figures. I think the the weekly shows are exciting uh, as well. I mean for years I've been you know working mainly on narrative podcasts and I think that Tinnerfoot's finally jumping into the the weekly podcast space with a show that I'll be hosting and producing um, but also a uh, hopefully a few others on the slate as well. So I think that we've just taken what we've learned with true crime storytelling, storytelling in general, and come up with a, uh, come up with a cool way to do a weekly show that feels right for our audience and still hits the masses. And we're, we're super pumped about it. Payne, Donald, thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk to us today. We're really excited to be in partnership with you and we appreciate the trust. We're gonna make some great stuff. 
We've talked a lot today about where podcasting came from, the genres that we've built this medium on, but we're just as interested in where is it going? What's the next genre that we can crack for you, our brand sponsors? One of the most exciting new areas of podcasting is fiction, and we have the fullest pipeline of new fiction titles just starting to roll out now. We announced just a month ago a huge new undertaking called There Be Monsters, pushing the limits of sci-fi storytelling to a whole new level. It stars Darren Chris and John Boyega. We asked those guys about what it was like to create in an audio medium. Hey everybody, I'm Darren Chris, and uh, I'm one of the uh, actors in the upcoming uh, podcast series, The There Will Be Monsters. What can I say about it? Um, I, I literally don't know what I can say about it simply because I don't want to give anything away, but uh, I'm one of the characters in it along with the great John Boyega, who uh, I don't think needs any introduction. I've always loved um, radio plays. I got that from my father who grew up at a time when he listened to things like The Shadow and The Lone Ranger on the radio and really kind of filled in a lot of the narrative spaces with his imagination with the help of the voice actors and the sound and all the foley and everything. It's something that I've always really loved and I've really enjoyed how in the past several years uh, fictional podcasts have really been on, on the rise. So I was really thrilled to be a part of it. I think it's a cool, fun story and I hope everybody will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed doing it. So that's what I can say about it. Wow, what an incredible industry. We feel very grateful every single day to be working in what we think is the most exciting medium on the planet right now. At iHeartRadio, we are all about creators, audiences, and brands. Building the best slates of shows with the best creators from any medium period. Aaron Mankey or Shonda Rhimes or Will Ferrell or Questlove. We believe this is the most exciting medium in the world right now, but we wouldn't be here if it weren't for our partnerships with you, our sponsors. Our partners, as you built this industry across the last 10 or 15 years and have doubled down on it and believe in it just as much as we do now. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for that trust, that support. Let's get to work and build more partnerships to come. Thank you.